World Championship final here. As I was saying to John Virgo earlier, he's changed his whole mood and his attitude. And uh, a few smiles. No explosions. He knows what he's got to do. And in this game, everything is possible. Whatever happens, you'll see it. Edmund to break, 11, Stephen Hendry on 70. And Peter breaks off to save this match. What a task he has in front of him. Seven frames to go, and he requires all seven. One. Stephen Hendry. I first saw him at the age of 12. Predicted then that he would be a world beater. I'm delighted to say my webs have proved correct. Yes, Ben. And that shot is one of the reasons why. So good under pressure shots. A lot of players there would have played safe off a bolt collar. Is this the frame he really wants? Fifteen. So many times he's shown 20. us the tapestry of snooker as played by a world champion. Well, Stephen here looking three shots ahead. He's just been having a look at a possible plant in the right center after the next blank. Decided to leave it for now, but if he doesn't, has to split the, the pack with the next colour. Thirty-one. Preparations for the celebrations of this 21st anniversary of the Embassy World Championship are now well in being. <coughs> Stephen today is a married man with responsibilities. Yes, and it looks as though he's going to go for that three ball plant. The two reds directly below the pink. Decided to play safe. just wants the one frame to win 200,000 pounds and of course the title
Not too happy about that one. Peter Ebden has thoroughly enjoyed his first appearance in the final. But he's had his moments of disappointment. Yes, and Tim, we're seeing the one aspect of the snooker that no other sport has. And that's when the two of the top players in the world are missing pots. And they tend to turn the crowd. It gets them on the edge of the seat. He can get at the pink, but I'm not so sure about whether he can pot it. Stephen Henry won. Peter's looking here. He may be looking at a possible three ball plant. This time into the right corner. Just coming down to have another look. Well, there you can see it. It's not a direct plant, but it can be made. There is a gap between the two reds. still there. It's been said many times over this uh, final, the last two days, that Stephen Hendry has not produced the form that we know he can. He's still only needing one frame and his opponent wants seven. And here, of course, has had a very tough championship. Recently re released a CD, I'm a Clown. He's been no clown in this championship, I assure you. Well, he's kept looking at this red into the green pocket. Yeah. Yes. There you can see just room past the blue. And that's a great pot. His first point on the scoreboard. Green ball. Four. Yes, and these sort of the sort of positions in your club would be no trouble to clear the table, but something about the Crucible and the MSU World Championship that brings this pressure on. Unless you've been out there, you can't explain what it's like. Five.
12. Every chance here. 13. <coughs> that little sip of water, the cue ball to be cleaned. aware that the ball's there for the taking. Is he up to it? Twenty seven. Only four points behind now. Thirty five. Thirty-six. Yes, Peter would have liked to have been just a little straighter on this blue. To hold for either the red into the right corner or screw for the one near the pink into the opposite corner. So we may have to come round the angles here between the two reds. Two points into the lead. 41. So red into the left center now. In fact, I think you got a bit of a bad contact. It certainly put a lot of pace into the shot. He's just having the white cleaned. Now, will he be able to get back to the table? Seven points behind at the moment. Yes, of course, the one thing Peter won't have is that extreme pressure. He's in this situation now where it's do or die, go for everything.
Well, John, that was a terrific pot under the uh, pressure he's under at the moment, wasn't it? Yes, and the perfect angle to come down for the red near the pink. not the best of shots. 52. So he's 13 points ahead. shot from Stephen there. I think we're going to see the swerve shot come in. Plenty of top and right and side. Off the side cushion. And he'll be happy with that one. Yes, never quite sure where they might finish, but uh, that is pretty safe. Where's it going to finish this time? Yes, and the crowd at the Crucible willing Peter on. Don't want this match to finish just yet. He looks quite happy about it. Yes, he's just laughing at the position side of the shot. It was never going to be too easy. The thing cuts like that. I'm sure we'll see Peter take the green on. I think those smiles, John, cover a certain sadness. Well, they certainly will if he loses. But at this moment in time, he's still in there with the shout. Four. And he's controlled the cue ball beautifully. All set now to save the match. Making good use of that extra six inches. Six. So still requires green and brown to put the frame safe. still concentrating as hard as when he first started this final. 18.
<laughs> Played that with a terrific amount of left hand. <laughs> He's just enjoying himself out there. Perhaps he's a clown after all, but he's saved this match. Stephen Hendry still requiring just one more frame for the title. And John, that uh, amazing finish there by Peter Ebden, he really is concentrating right to the bitter end, isn't he? Yes, he's certainly decided to enjoy it no matter what. I mean, the pink, this is like an exhibition shot. Played it with a tremendous amount of top and left hand side and just look at the swerve on that white and he went on to say it's not only Ronnie can play these short of shots <laughs>